What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Yakima Long Haul on this 2017 Chateau Super C Motor Home from Thor. So this is going to be a hang style bike rack. It's for your RV, that's a big deal. It takes a lot for a bike rack to be certified for an RV. So this one passes all those tests to be used on the back of this and your vehicle at home. So it's going to be more vibration here at the back of your rig and that's why they have to be a special qualification to work like this. So it being a hang style, it'll fit road bikes, mountain bikes. I would not use a carbon fiber bike just because you're going to hang it by its frame and that could damage it and cause issues and you just don't want that. Now it's got zip strips here that hold the bike in. You just push in on these tabs, they slide right out. Now if you listen. They snap when you push them in, they're tightened. I like to hear that audio just to know that it is tightening it up. And then on the inside of the cradles, you see they got this rubberized here with these raised parts. That way no cables are crushed when you go to tighten them down here. So you can sit here and not bother that frame at all. They can carry four bikes. Each one can hold up to 37.5 pounds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bike here. You also have the anti-sway that's here on the main seat post. So that's just gonna help it not swing back and forth. You see that's with it. Without it, there'd be a whole lot more swinging back and forth. And again, there's a lot more vibration here at the back of the motorhome. So it's good that it has that just to keep everything in check. And each one is gonna have that. You see, you can just fold them up when you're not using it. See, there's these. So then over here and here. Now let me go ahead and set these aside real quick. We'll go ahead and get the bike out of the way. So same with all these strips, just push in on those tabs, pull it out, really easy to use. They're all full padded on the inside. So that's rubberized there. So when it does make contact with the frame, it's not gonna cause any issues with like plastic on your frame. Put those aside. It is easier if these are all pushed down out of the way, just in case you have a smaller frame. This frame is pretty big and open, so you're not gonna have any issues, but sometimes you don't have all that space. So I just suggest you push these down or pull them out. Then you have no issues or nothing in your way when you're going to remove the bike. So I'm gonna go set this aside. And I'm sewing in the cradles, but just here's the one that the bike was sitting on. You can see the same rubberized there, and I'll go ahead and replace the strips just to keep them in line. You don't want to lose them. Another thing to mention here, on the back side, while I'm replacing these strips, hold on just a second, is it does have a cable lock included. And so you can bring that out, run that through the bikes, and attach it right here, and lock it up. So this was just one less thing you have to get separately, and it's all housed here in the mast. So you don't have it just hanging around or hold on separately or find somewhere. It just goes right there and stores nice and easy. Now another thing, let's get some measurements real quick and then I'll show you how the arms fold down and out of the way. So we're gonna go from the bumper, the outermost point, it's gonna be right here. We're gonna come down to about 35 inches. It's gonna add to the back of your motor home. So just keep that in mind, but you can take that down a little bit by folding this down. What you're gonna do is just pull this up top. That allows you to lower these. That way, already way less. Let's go ahead and measure it now. From the bumper out to here, gonna be about nine and a half inches. So that's quite a bit less to worry about when you're backing up and have it back there. Another thing would be ground clearance. And right there, it looks to be about 16 and a half from the ground, inches that is, sorry, from the ground. So you're not gonna have any issues with that, making contact, everything's up high enough. Just not one of those things you're gonna have to worry about. We can go take a look at the hitch. And see, it's got an anti-rattle hitch pin here that locks on the other side. That's gonna be key like to the cable lock that's inside, so only one key. So that's nice to have that for both of those. It's gonna keep that rattling out of the back of the motorhome here. I can shake this back and forth. See, there's no rattling or movement here, which is good. That way you don't have to worry about that with the back of your motorhome. One thing I would probably suggest is the e-trailer hitch alignment tool. So it's a collar that's gonna go around the shank here. 
goes right up against the collar. Once you get that set and tighten it down, every time you lift this out, put it back in, it's gonna hit that collar and align that hitch pin hole on the first try every single time. It just saves you when you're gonna put that in and get ready to go on your venture. Well, that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helps. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are gonna be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on.